in the past we've had rowers come to us with problems with their hands, with their grip, not being able to hold on to an oar or, or a handle on a rowing machine for any length of time. They're good enough to row for a few strokes and then their hand starts to weaken and they're not able to hold on to that oar to do a long piece or a hard piece. A man, Robert Black from Oklahoma City, who came to us last year with this problem. We had the usual gloves that we could use for grip problems. They worked well, but he's kind of invented a system that's worked great for him for this problem. And so I want to introduce him to kind of explain what he has done to make these oars very accessible to him. He's rowed for a whole year kind of developing this along talking with us here at the rowing club. And it's a great system for grip problems. So I'm going to bring Robert in and let him explain and show you how it works. And hopefully that will, will work for many of your prop, your people. With I want to take a few minutes and uh, show, you, show you an adaptation I've put together uh, to make it possible for me to row. Um, I've always had very, very weak, weak hands. And so any type of gripping is, is difficult for me, so I've shied away from sports that uh, involve any any gripping. And as I've gotten older, I've met many, many more people uh, with arthritic conditions that have had strokes. And then through the adaptive program, I've met people with um, advanced cerebral palsy and quadriplegics that, that have gripping issues. And so just holding on to the oar and, and having a lack of uh, control over the thumbs to press the oars out towards the oar locks has always been a problem. And when we raced uh, last year in some regattas, we found that um, the standard types of gripping devices that you'll see in access catalogs uh, for disabled uh, really require you to clamp very, very, very hard around the oar and cut off circulation, and your hand still moves down the oar because you don't have any control over it. So it just slides down here. And so I've got uh, two devices that work together to make it possible to alleviate that. And one is, it's, it's just a piece of plastic. It's about three inches across. And the hole in the center is the diameter of the oar handle. So this hole will, will be different uh, for different diameter oar handles. I happen to have a medium, medium grip that I like on the oar handle. So I just looked at the manufacturer's diameter and drilled a hole there. And this has a, a groove in it. And this, this is for um, placing weights for individual rowers who want a weighted or they have a little lighter touch. Uh, some of the more um, severe spinal cord injuries, uh, people can't pull the oars this way and they, they are gonna, they're pushing them. And so that oar is heavy and so we'll, we can put some they don't have the hand control, so they need this uh, counteraction, uh, this action to be counteracted, and, but they, should, they may want some weights. We don't want to actually damage the oar. We might be using somebody else's oar or club oar. So this just slips on without any requirement for attachment, and it's just not going to fit where it will stay there. And this happens to be my personal oar, so these are just permanently mounted uh, on these oars uh, for me, but it's a very easy adjustment to uh, to make. Um, I made them out of plastic originally. I made them out of an archery target where I just cut these out with a pocket knife and drill a hole in it. Uh, but that material's really rough on your hand um, when you row. So this is smoother and a little bit more, a little bit more durable. The second piece of this is a gripping device. I won't call it a glove, but uh, it's got Velcro on it. It's got a flap that Fits, fits over your hand, and then another piece that fits around your wrist. And for people who have um, difficulty with their actual grip, especially as it weakens, the actual fit that you want on a, on a gripping device is around the wrist, because the, instead of having your fingers to have the load transfer to when you pull the oar, it transfers to your wrist. And so, if the fit is not good in the wrist, any grip over repeated use, especially as you get fitter and you're, and you're um, applying more pressure, will walk up your wrist and loosen everything as you row. And so the fit in the wrist is really, really important. 
and most people that make these grips that you see in uh, disabled catalogs uh, are not rowers, and so they don't pay a lot of attention to the rip. They're mostly trying to help people hold things in their grip this way, but we have to accomplish in rowing, uh, we have to hold things this way, but we also have to trans transfer load across a big arc, and that goes to the wrist for uh, a disabled, uh, somebody with this disability. So these, these grips can actually look like they're, they're made the same when, in fact, uh, some of these features have not been considered. One of the, the other nice things about this is, even though my hands are weak because of these uh, rings on the ends, uh, I can pull on these flaps and I don't have to pinch them. Pinching for people with grip problems is often very, very, very difficult. So I can control this just with my, with, with putting a, finger or thumb through it on either one, so I can put it on by myself without assistance. Slides over the oar. Because I have the washer there, I don't have to tighten this down really tight anymore. So the longer rows, I don't lose circulation, and I get the same kind of feel that somebody without a grip would have when I move the oar through the water. The other advantage to not having to tighten it very much is, is um, the safety consideration of being able to get off the oar when you have an emergency. Normally you don't ever want to let loose of the oar, but this way we can, we can get off of the oar. And I would only recommend this at the current time to uh, scullers. Um, the sweep rowing where if you're wearing one on each hand, which I do, um, it's, it's difficult at high speeds to get two of them off a sweep oar. So I think there's a safety consideration there. But you do have a safety consideration with that. The other thing is, these, these rings can be easily felt by somebody else. If you need assistance, they can feel them, and it's natural just to pull on them and release this if you need to release it in an emergency. Somebody needs to help you. So this is just a little combination that, that I found to be uh, extremely useful. And, um, and um, as you get fitter and you row harder, this will, this will hold up. It works very well on the, on the erg, so I erg with it, and I use it on the oars every single Don't let grip problems and don't let hand problems stop you from trying to row anybody. It's a very simple solution to this. You don't have to tape their hands on. You don't have to use the, the um, ACE bandages and it, I'm not saying that's not an option, but there are better and more simple solutions. If something happens with this glove, the hands can come off very quickly. Right. They're put on right and getting them out of the boat is really simple with this, with this apparatus. They are made for both hands, right and left. They're made in different sizes, so they can be acquired for any rower.